Okay, so last night we left off with this. Basically, uh, you know, we got that part done. But uh, we, we made some tweaks to this design. We're gonna shorten these screws and uh, recess these, uh, these nuts down below. So in order to do that, I have to print a new piece. And since these take like three, three and a half hours to print, um, since I just got home from work, got ate some food, um, for printing. So while this, uh, while this prints, I'm gonna go ahead and start editing the first video. This is number three. Um, so I guess watch the first one. Wait, right up there, I think, is where it's supposed to. Yeah, first video right here. Now. Okay, so watch that one. Uh, I'm gonna keep going on this. I do need to go and do a nut and bolt check on my car, but it's, it's starting to get cold now, and uh, and I'm kind of I'm tired. So this is this is nice and relaxed, and I can sit on my butt for 90% of the time while this stuff prints and think and surf the web and do whatever. But I do need to do a nut and bolt check on the car. But this is just too entertaining to watch. Wow. So we got the piece somewhat installed and then realized I can't actually get these screws in here. I also hammered in some, some nuts, some captive nuts. Those are solid. Um, but I can't get to the screws under here, so we're gonna pull rails off, remove this guy, and bolt these in, and then we'll put it back together. He's got so many apple juice bottles. This shit's cold. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all bolted up and captive nut and everything, and uh, slides back and forth. The top of these screws are 31 millimeters, and uh, that means... It fits! <laughs> I'm trying to vlog over here. Just come here and watch this shit. Bro! Look at this bed though. It's legit. Anyways, that's, uh, that's all I got for tonight. As you can tell, uh, we're printing again. We're printing uh, end pieces. So the design I originally first went for, which included some wings on the end here, weren't, uh, weren't, weren't gonna fit on the, uh, the old printer there. So, um, yeah, that, that kind of stinks. But, uh, so I took them off, and uh, we're now 3D printing the piece that kind of goes here all the way across and back. And it goes like three screws deep, wherever those are. I don't know. It goes, it goes to about that far back. So, we're not gonna use this first one, because this first one has a bump stop in it. Um, maybe we'll change that, I don't know. So what's gonna happen is, is we're probably not gonna go with a corner cap or if we do, we're not gonna do it um, off the side. We're gonna come off this, basically the way it is. But we're gonna get these end rails on first, and then we'll work on figuring out how we're gonna mount the bed. As of right now, we're pretty much on track to meet that 35 mil line, but I'm a little concerned by that, but we'll see what happens with the hardware I get. Uh, should come in tomorrow. So if I can get a little bit shorter screw and fit it in there, and the bed sits nicely on top of that, then we don't have to worry about it, but we don't know yet. So we'll play with that probably tomorrow. But tonight is dedicated to getting this one rail here finished and checking check its fitment and everything like that. And then uh, tomorrow we'll print one more on the back and then we'll check all of the, uh, the, uh, the layout of the bed and everything on it. It's just a, a lot of slow moving, but that should be fine. Um, I'm hoping that this thing will be done probably just after 10 o'clock and yeah and then we'll have a part to, to play with. We're gonna keep doing some 3D printer stuff and saving money because that's what we do.
That scared me. It got really quiet all of a sudden. We got this uh, phrase. Turn it up. And I goofed. <laughs> this, uh, this piece right here is 20 mil when it should have been 20 mil from the bottom of this hole to the back of this. So that's been fixed on the, the print, the model. And then this is supposed to be 12 mil from the bottom of the step down, but it's not, it's just 12 mil from the top. So there's a five mil piece here. So this should have been 17, which it's. So again, both of those have been fixed. Once we're done, you'll see that limit switch should hit once we shorten it by another, whatever it is, 10 mil. But uh, tomorrow's another day. It's like, what time is it? 11.30. It's 11.30. No, it's not, it's 10.30. Freaking liar. It's like, that's kind of late. That's kind of late. <laughs> we don't take the time to take time out of it. Time. All right, so we're trying something new. I got a new tripod, so uh, hopefully it's a little bit more up and not so much like this. But uh, yeah, so. We've got this uh, this part. It's finished. It's like midnight. It's cooled down now. We're gonna go ahead and pull it off and uh, mock it up on the old printers over there and uh, see what happens. have uh, this bar and it's, it's better on the, uh, the, the size but if you look here it like barely misses <laughs> the the contact so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna chop a piece off of this uh, just a little bit I'm just gonna pack it off and then we'll just use some CA glue or uh, super glue and we'll just glue it on there, right here. And then tomorrow we'll print another one of these and uh, we'll be in better shape for the bed. Um, I totally lost track of where we're filming, but uh, I'm gonna show you where we're at with 3D printers. So we printed, yesterday we printed, I think this piece. Um, and the idea of it was is this would trigger the, uh, the limit switch and then when I tried to figure out the the belt piece, I realized this isn't gonna work because this needs to be like right there. So it would hit this before um, it would hit the limit switch. So I, I chopped off uh, a little piece of this guy and it's not perfect, but uh, basically it's just got a little 15 mil extension and the idea of it is, is that we'll glue it to the little stick up piece right there and it'll give me just enough room to drill a hole and uh, mount this little drive belt. So and then I still got to figure out what I'm going to do about the other side because obviously it didn't have enough uh, length with it being longer. So we'll have to figure that out. But um, yeah, so this is fixed. But uh, before the drive mechanism, like the, the only real next thing was is the, how do we mount, mount the bed? So after a ton of, ton of calculations and modeling, whatever the bed, I came up with these. And uh, I printed these, these only took about an hour. And it should just come off this because it's easy enough, right? It's small, come on, so. The idea of these is there's four of them, and they're just little bed corners. So, the theory here is, is this goes on, and I'll have to verify my measurements with the model. But these just kind of sit on the bed in the corner, and they should just slide on. I might need a little bit of working, just enough to kind of hold it like that, and then 
glue right there and that'll be enough to hold it uh, when you use uh, CA glue or super glue is better known um, it kind of makes like a permanent bond with the plastics because it kind of melts it and it's porous so it kind of leaks through Okay, so while we're sitting at this point, uh, it's worth noting, apparently they use some kind of crap, like petroleum when they come in, uh, whatchamacallit, when you buy them, and they don't... Don't exactly freely slide, I mean, they, they kind of glide, but they don't, uh... They don't exactly... So this is gonna probably be the end of tonight here, but end of Sunday. I tried to uh, try to put some uh, some CA glue on uh, the little pieces here and glue them down. And when I started pulling the bed stuff off, the the old build tag, uh, it popped off, and it got me thinking this is probably not the best way to do this. So. I'm thinking I'm gonna redesign it to be more like this guy to kind of slip in here. The idea is, is uh, instead of having these little tabs that just kind of hang off, kind of like his winglets like that, is um, maybe we'll drop down a little bit or have a captive nut that also goes on here. Uh, just that way it's just a little bit easier. We are 3D printing some new pieces. Over here. Hopefully these will hold the bed a little bit better. But uh, I'm gonna cut it here because I don't know how many days of worth of editing. I've kind of just been in a fury of doing things. But this is just a, a fit that I've been in lately. Uh, I usually do this, but this is kind of secondary. Um, but yeah, if you want to check out all this uh, stuff that's going on, um, yeah, stick around because it's, it's definitely interesting stuff, at least in my opinion. Uh, we're at 85 subscribers. You guys rock. Um, keep keep smashing that button. My goal is 100 for the end of the year. Give it a give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Click the little bell for more videos. Um, the stuff I do is probably a little bit uh, down the rabbit hole, but I, I think you'll enjoy seeing things come to life. Um, that's about it. So for now, uh, I guess take it easy, and we'll see you later. I'm a true champion.